Hi everybody, it's Miss Donna, and today's sensory play is all about dollar store baggy ideas that you can make, take with you, use at home, don't cost a lot of money, and are really easy, but a lot of fun. We're going to start with some that I've talked about before. Back in the very first program that we did here online, I talked about water beads. Water beads are one of the best things that you can put in baggies and have kids play with. You can do them frozen, so they're touching and they're feeling the cold. You can do them without much water in it where they can really feel that ball and if they want to pinch it, it's so much fun. And then of course when they're, they're in the water, you chase them. And so there's all kinds of different ways that you can set your baggies up. Now I use snack size baggies for my samples today. That's just something new we've been doing. But if you're doing these at home, what I would do, whatever size baggie you pick, before you actually give it to your toddler, you want to duct tape the top, and then you want to put it in a freezer bag, either quart or gallon size, and put it inside, and then duct tape the edges. Now, that way, their little fingernails are less likely to pop the bag. One, the freezer bag is heavier, and two, they'd have to go through two bags before they would make a mess. It helps incredibly. Now these you can also, there's different things you can do. You can hang them on something like this, on a window where the light shines through them and they're moving them around on a flat surface. You can lay them down on a table. You can even put them on the ground if you have a baby that's learning to crawl. These are great tummy time activities. You can just tape it down or lay it down right in front of them and they would be able to feel the textures on the ground. So there's not a lot of anything, I mean you can do whatever your age of your kids is, you can change it up and switch it up. But that's the nice thing about these baggies. Most of this stuff all came from Walmart or Dollar General. None of it costs very much. You, you know, you don't have, you've got stuff at home. Go through all that stuff that you've got in a junk drawer that you never use. Um, or show you this one. Easter time, you know how you get that grass and then you never know what to do with it after you do the baskets? Well, here you go. They make a great surprise baggie. In my silver that you have to go searching for, it's kind of like those I Spy bottles we made, there's farm animals. You could put anything in here. You could put coins in here. You could put animals. You could put uh, different colored shapes, whatever you want them to look for. But it's like they're hiding in the grass and you have to maneuver it and find it. Now, this isn't, what's nice about this one is you can take it with you. You can zip this bag. If they've got really pointy fingers and you want to put it inside another one, go for it. But this is something you can toss in a purse or in a diaper bag. Give it to them when you're waiting in a doctor's office, riding in the car, anything like that because they could play with this and they're not going to make a mess. Even if for some reason they do get a hole in the bag, nothing's going to leak. The most they're going to do is um, have silver grass all over your car or um, maybe um, cotton balls. This has got cotton balls, pom-poms, and little hard rubber balls. So this is a texture. You know, you want to hit all five senses. A little hard to do smell with these, but you can do the rest of them. This is a sense of touch. You've got soft pom-poms. You've got uber soft cotton balls, and then the little hard balls. And they're all mixed together, and maybe you want them to find a certain one or see if they can find the red ones, how many red ones are in there. It's good for color identification. This is another one that you can toss in your bag, take with you, and hand it to them to play with it and keep them occupied when you're out someplace, which I know is always an ordeal. So, also, we've done these before too. This is made, I did the good old bubble bath. Put in the, this is another snacks bag size. These are just those little pony bead type perler bead things that you buy at the store. They come in little packages like this. They're not very expensive, but they can manipulate them around. You can look for colors. You can mix them together. This is another one for tummy time. They would be able, they would feel that hard inside of the soft. Plus it's cold. The gel has a cold feeling to it. So that's really cool. Also, straws. I don't know about you, but I always have more straws running around my house than I know what to do with. You can even use used one if you wash them because you're putting them in a bag and they're not really touching them. 
if you, these are the heavier box ones, if you just cut them down a little bit, or if you put them in a gallon bag, you can use them full. But you're welcome to manipulate these around inside of the bag. You can get them by color. You can get them by size. You can, they will make noises in the bag, they shake. So there's your sound also. So straws are something we all have around really easy to do. Buttons is another thing. If you've got a cache of buttons that nobody uses, buttons can go into these gels and into the, the lost things. Even pushing buttons in with your pom-poms or your cotton balls if you don't want to buy pom-poms, they work perfect. Now, the other thing, I'm going to show you two other things today. This is so appropriate for the time of year. Now, I put I have to laugh, this was not my original intention, but I didn't have any clear hair gel that I usually use. So we had light Cairo syrup, that corn syrup that we use for some of our other um, activities. And I decided that would make a good snowman because I wanted to do a snowman today. And so I put the syrup in there. Before I did that, I drew an outline. It's a little hard to see uh, with a permanent marker couldn't find my black one, so with blue. And then in here, there's eyeballs, there's buttons. These are little stirrer straws. I took a big one, I cut it in half and in half again to make arms. And can you see if I lay it down? Um, if you, your child can then try to move these around and see what kind of a snowman they make. Can they get the arms over there? Can they get the eyeballs on the face? Can they create a hat? Can they create a mouth? How is their snowman going to turn out looking? I used some buttons in there. You could use all kinds of things, and I'm not having much luck. But there you go, I'm trying to get his red. You get the idea. You could also create, you could draw robots on there. You could draw flowers on there. Whatever shape you want to put on, and put something inside of the gel. You can use colored gel, clear gel. It's just a cute way for the kids to create something that's gonna be different every time because they do not have to follow a pattern. As you see, I taped the top of this one. I've got it inside. This was a snack, so it went inside of a quart. And this is, do your edges, do your bottoms, do your sides, and then finally do your top and it'll be sealed in there, double layer, they're not going to poke a hole in it. But oh my gosh, they are so much fun to manipulate. Finally, I'm going to show you how to do one here. This is one that creates a lot of questions sometimes with kids too, because you're going to have a little bit of a science experiment. You take some oil, this happens to be canola oil, but it doesn't really matter, and you're going to put eh, maybe about a quarter of a cup or so, I don't know, I don't, I'm just going to kind of estimate some in here doesn't really matter what kind of oil. You can probably even use baby oil as well. Then you take food coloring. Maybe. Okay, fine. That one doesn't like me. Let's try a different one. Don't you hate it when things don't work? All right. There we go. You put in several drops. Have to put on how dark you want your coloring to be. There it goes. Look at those, look at them in there. And then, oh, approximately maybe about a quarter cup. You want to kind of equal your oil. There we go. And then try to squeeze as much of the air. You want some air in there, but not too much air out. And now normally you would duct tape this and put it inside of a gallon one, but this one is an awesome one that you can play. It's a great one to put if you want to tape it up, like if you have a window and you want to tape it up on the window because the light's going to shine through it. But, and you can put more in here than I did, but see what it does? Your oil floats to the top. It really doesn't mix with the water. You can manipulate it around where it looks like it's mixed, but it really, you can see, look how the color sits in the oil. It doesn't really color the oil, but it sure colors the water. 
how you have dark and light. But it's a really neat thing to do. And you could do, um, you could show kids how to put like red and yellow and mix this together and creates orange. Or you can do the solid colors and it will separate. And then when you let it set and you're not playing with it for a while, it's really going to separate back into your oil and water and it asks a lot of questions. But this one, I don't recommend taking this one in a car or on the road. <laughs> um, and it's another one that you might want to tape down for the smaller ones um, just because they might poke through it. But it is one that you can hold in your hand and manipulate it, as are any of these. They don't have to be taped down or laid down. They're all that depends upon the age and the range of your child. Now there are all kinds of other items that you can use. Um, let me see what else I had on here. You, oh, if you saw last month's, you can do paint. You can put paint dots in here and then let them mix the paint together and see what kind of colors they create inside of the baggie. Uh, mix colors to learn colors and to see the picture that they would make without actually having a piece of paper. You could just put a little bit of paint in there. Shaving cream. That was the other thing I was going to bring in and I forgot. You can put shaving cream in the bag, add a little food coloring, it mixes together. That is a cool thing to watch it color. Plus that's a really cold texture and a whole different feel than the water liquid. If you have glitter at home, you can add glitter, you can add glitter to oil and water, you can add glitter to any of the gel items. You can do any of that kind of stuff. Um, frozen peas, frozen, any kind of like frozen vegetables and fruits that have a, a cold texture that you can manipulate if you don't happen to have water balls. Uh, frozen peas are a really good thing. You put them in the bag and they're gonna manipulate and as they get warmer, they get mushier and you have that texture change as well. So that's all, you know, the different things that you can do, but your imagination can go wide on this one. You can use just about anything. The only thing to remember, I would double bag your items, use a freezer bag on the outside just because it's sturdier and I would duct tape and then duct tape some more, especially if you're worried about them popping them open and making a huge mess. On these kind, it's not quite so important, but you do want to duct tape them once so that they're not just opening and pulling everything out because that defeats the purpose. Well, that's about all for today, and I am so glad to see you all again, and I will be back next month with some bath time ideas. See you then. Bye.